Ah, there you are. I'm glad that you're okay. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Please, have a seat. Oh, before that. I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Okay. Let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out, nothing was working, there were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour, a time period hidden between one day and the next. It occurs each night as the clock strikes 12. It'll happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like that? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short. We're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad, C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club, but in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Which means it's all up to you guys.
What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. I was afraid you'd say no. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> A holdup? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. We've met before. <laughs> Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. The end of everything. But to be honest, I don't really know what it is. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. gonna fall asleep in there can I have a minute come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm I have something to tell everyone I'll save the details for later see you there Probably busy with things like student council, unlike us. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? Well, it's 
It's not that I don't like her. She's just... Welcome back. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. <laughs> What's up? Junpei? Why are you here? This is Junpei Hiori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me! I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, <laughs> surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? Big deal. It happens to everyone else. But man, <laughs> I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? Huh? Uh, yeah. Well, enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Okay, everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Tartarus? What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. You haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa! Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Relax, I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight.
This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This'll be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know, you don't have to remind me. Whoa, it's just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 me pick me! Uh, you're in charge. Wait, wait, why him? He doesn't look like a leader. But he has fought them before. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like he can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? <laughs> That's the spirit. What's the matter? <laughs> I've been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty, but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times 
when they are difficult to grasp. But do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until then, farewell. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Huh? What door? <laughs> Man, are you loco? Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Come on, let's go.